But if you were exploring Southwest Georgia back in 1800, you'd be looking at this. This is an example of old growth longleaf pine forest that's totally intact and natural. You could just walk through it almost effortlessly and early settlers described this in their journals. They could take wagons through this habitat without even needing to build roads. There's two key features of this habitat that tell us it's really healthy besides just how open and beautiful it is. One is right behind me. We have these young longleaf pines popping up and for a long time, people, including scientists, didn't even think longleaf pines regenerated naturally. They had no idea how it happened because in forests where fire isn't implemented or allowed to happen, there was no regeneration. So we know that fires do periodically sweep through this landscape, but there's one kind of fire in particular that's important for this regeneration, and that's called growing season fire. That's fire that happens in spring or summer, and it gets hot enough to kind of clear out this low growing herbaceous vegetation and allows the pines that are down low to rise up and soar to the sky and grow. So it's really important. And these markings on this tree, this, this black charred structure on the base of these longleaf pines tells us that fire is used here. And so every two to five years, managers here implement prescribed burning. They light the vegetation, allow it to burn, allow it to spread through this habitat. And over the years, that has allowed this habitat to remain in pretty much pristine condition. This is what we're trying to get to. This is what we're trying to achieve. We want longleaf pine ecosystems to look just like this because this habitat, if you look closely, is so diverse. There's so many insects, so many plants growing here. It's shocking how little habitat like this remains in our world. And this is a habitat only surpassed in diversity by the tropical rainforest right here in the United States. It's just incredible. There's a power to ecosystems like this. It feels like you're in something like a redwood forest. If you stand here long enough and just take it in, it does something to you. It does something to your soul. And as a result, it's not just the diversity that we're striving to restore when we restore habitats like this, but it's, it's the feeling those habitats bring you. There's just something about old growth forests that just do it for me and for many other people too. So it's really important that we seek to get this back to restore habitats to this condition. So I'm just gonna take in this view. I just, I just love this so much. Wild Wander is made possible by the generous support of organizations that believe in the importance of the stories we tell. If your organization would like to talk about a partnership opportunity, contact us at info at macroscopepictures.com.